Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, and as you can hear, my voice is completely screwed, so you get to hear deep voice Undercover Dudes for the next four and a half minutes, so that is a very, very, very rare treat. But with all of that said, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate or don't celebrate, regardless, this is a really good time. Just kick back, relax, go, and just, you know, appreciate the finer things in life, like the Steam sale and all that. But today I'm going to talk to you guys about all the few events that Nexon's gone and implemented for this year for Christmas and New Year's. Many years ago, Nexon NA, they used to do these massive, massive Christmas events where you would get a ton of EXP boosts, a ton of GP perms, and then overall it was actually a really, really, really good time to go and play Combat Arms, besides when the hack sites would go and give out, you know, free VIP hacks, and then you couldn't go and play on Christmas Day. So it was, you know, a bit of a double-edged sword, but with all of that said, comparing the massive sales and the GP perms from back in the day to what we're getting right now, it is a little bit lackluster now. I sound like I'm a little bit, you know, not appreciative of what Next in Europe is doing. Of course, whenever GP perms come out, I'm very, very happy. But have a look at what we've got right now and you have to think really, could they have maybe added a little bit more because they've gone and put on say the Scarrow Black, the Dragon of SVDS, the MP7 Steel, the M2 Browning, the Trifles Cobra 4 Shotgun, the 32 SW2 and the Balasong Knife. Looking at this list, there's only one weapon that I truly suggest you guys are going to pick up if you have the GP, and that would be the Scar L Black. It's a very decent assault rifle. It's got some good medium range capabilities, also good in close range. You can kind of tap fire at long range. And overall, is it the best assault rifle in the GP category? No, but regardless, it is still a good gun to go and pick up. Have a look at the rest of the weapons. The MP7 still is an okay submachine gun. It has quite nice fire rate, quite nice recoil, but the damage is just so, so, so bad. It's like throwing rocks at your opponent, so you've got to go for headshots. The M2 Brownie is quite a weird machine gun. It has a ton of damage behind it, but the portability is very, very, very low. Even running 25% speed gear, you're really, really, really making yourself quite easy to hit by sniper rifles or some machine guns or basically any weapon in the game. So if you go and pick up this weapon, bring it into stuff like fire team PVE modes because damn, this gun absolutely shreds NPCs. It doesn't have the highest fire rates. Obviously, you're not gonna go and get the most points in the room, but it does a ton of damage and overall, it's a good gun for those. But looking at the rest of the weapons, they're trash. Like the Dragonov is shit. The Tristar, don't pick it up. The pistol is even worse. And the Balasong, it's basically the M9 with a little bit more damage and a little bit more range. The only cool thing about it is the, uh, you know, the pullout animation is kind of cool, I suppose. But overall, there is really no point. And I think that phrase, there is no point, really goes and sums up this whole GP perm sale. Because GP perm sales are for the GP only users when you think about it. Because these people, they play combat arms, but they don't have really any permanent items. So they have to go and buy their light vest, they have to go and buy their headgear, their primary, their secondary, their sniper rifle, their submachine gun. They have to buy that every single day. Now saying that we have 30 day and 7 day back, but still, they have to go and you know rent their items again and again and again. And honestly, that would be a pretty times tiresome task. So personally, I think like a light vest permanent, an M416 permanent, a TPG or an LNA 6A1 permanent would be the least that Nexon Europe could go and do for these GP only players. I know some people would be like, but these players don't go and put any money into the game, so why should Nexon go and do anything for them? But when you think about it, these players are really, really, really important because they are a significant portion of the community, a very significant portion, and if that portion went suddenly away, then then you have a little bit of a problem. So keeping them happy not only goes and keeps this game, you know, alive, but also gives the potential for these players to actually put money into the game. If you're making these players happy by giving them a GP perm sale once a year, God forbid, then maybe sometime during the next year and Nexon does, you know, a bit of a sale for NX items, then these GP only players may think, oh, Nexon would have helped me out during Christmas. They gave me a few GP perms. Maybe I'll put five or $10 into the game and help them out a little bit, you know, as a bit of a thank you. But regardless, I'm just going and doing a little bit of a throwback to the Nexon NA days when they'll do these massive, massive GP permanent sales. And I picked up like the M4, AK, L9, UMP, all permanent. And I still ha I still regularly use the L9 6A1 permanent that I have in my inventory because it's such a crucial, crucial piece of weaponry for my setup. 
But with all of that said, let's go to the next piece of news and that is the EXP and GP event. Now for Christmas from the 24th to the 25th inclusive, so it's a 48 hour event, there's going to be a 200% boost for EXP and GP. And for New Year's, there's going to be a 300% EXP and GP event. So that's from the 31st to the 1st and of course that is 48 hours as well. Please note that the combat arm servers, they go and use the CET time zone. So to go and check when the event starts for you, go to a site, for example, the timezoneconverter.com. That's what I personally go and use. Type in CET on one side, go and just type in 12 a.m. And then on the other side, type where you go and live. For me, it's Adelaide, Australia. And it'll go and tell me exactly when the event starts. For Europeans, it really won't matter that much. The time zone isn't that significant. For Americans, go and check it out. And for Australians, definitely definitely have a look because you could be potentially 10 hours early to the party if you're not going and doing it right because there is a massive massive difference and because of that massive time difference when it's Christmas for you guys in Europe and America it's going to be you know the day after and so I thought why not go and do a little bit of a twitch stream twitch.tv slash undercover dudes I'll be giving away a ton of combat arms beta keys so you guys can go and check out the new graphics going to be doing you know some fun stuff you know spicing up the stream a little bit so hopefully you guys can go and join me there I won't be doing something during New Year's I actually might go outside and live my life a little bit but saying that the day after Christmas I'm gonna chill play some ca and hopefully you guys can go and rack up some gp and exp with me as well but other than that, undercover dudes all the way from down under